the series that we're publishing this week on stillbirths is the perfect example of great science which can be implemented today and tomorrow to save the lives of literally millions of children around the world. My name is Richard Horton and I'm editor of The Lancet. There's been such an amazing success over the last decade in reducing maternal, newborn and child health, but the last great taboo in women's and children's health is the epidemic of stillbirths. 2.6 million stillbirths around the world every year and we just don't talk about it. We want The Lancet to publish the very best science by the very best scientists in the world. But we don't want that science to sit on the shelf of a library. We want that science to lead to change, social change, action. People believe wrongly that there's nothing you can do about stillbirths, that somehow stillbirths are inevitable. And that's just not the case. Ten countries in the world have over two-thirds of stillbirths. So if we could target the political leaders, the heads of state of those 10 countries and get those heads of state to make stillbirths a priority for their nations, we could have a massive impact. We have the evidence right now to be able to end this epidemic. This evidence provides the basis for fantastic advocacy, advocacy by parents groups, non-governmental organisations, civil society to be able to take the message to their political leaders. So we want to create a climate, an environment where we can discuss stillbirths, confront stillbirths in our society in order to change this epidemic. And I hope WHO picks this message up and really leads because we've seen a terrible absence of leadership in the past decade. And the World Health Organization is our great global health agency and tr the truth is that stillbirths has been off their agenda. They need to be the chief global advocates. What we're trying to do is to deliver them the science, to give them the proof, the confidence to take this issue and make this message one that is a worldwide call to arms. The Lancet plans to take this idea of science servicing society and take other issues in medicine and public health and make sure that we amplify these messages to decision makers. We don't need another 10-year programme of research to discover a vaccine or to develop a new drug. We can do this, so let's do it. We're beginning with stillbirths, but over the course of the next year, you're going to see The Lancet taking a much stronger role in advocacy, in making sure that the science we publish has an effect making sure that the science makes a difference.